How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Is It a Buy, where we talk about stocks and try to determine if there are with a buy or maybe a pass. My name is Corey. I'd just like to preface the video by saying I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy who likes to talk about stocks, so please take what I say with a grain of salt, all right? Let's get into the video today, guys. I'm sure you've all already seen it. I'm so hyped up. I see right here, AMC is up. It's uh, end of the day at 32.04, up 22% on the day. And in the after hours, it continued to run up 17.63% all the way to 37.69 it peaked at an all-time high of 39.41 unbelievable price action and i feel like we're just getting started i actually i feel like we haven't even started yet and i'll tell you why right now okay and so let's get into the video these hedge funds from what we've seen it doesn't look like they have covered at all okay they are still shorting this stock. They're still borrowing shares, okay? And let me show you where I'm getting these numbers. So keep in mind, Ortex is T plus two, okay? And we'll get into that in a second while that's relevant. But you can see right here, Ortex did updates today. AMC short interest update. AMC is currently up around 22% in pre-market trading. Estimated short interest con uh, current continues to rise. Uh, it is now 17.69% of the free float. All right. Meaning this short interest is, go is going higher because it's getting, so it's getting hard to harder to borrow and it's uh, getting more risky to borrow. They don't want people borrowing this dang stock. Okay. And uh, as we continue to go up, we can see right here with the AMC around $30 today, short sellers stand to lose about uh, $336 million today, just today on Tuesday. Uh, since AMC begun the rally last Monday, total losses for short sellers are around are over $1.5 billion since Monday. This stock is not sustainable. This short position is not sustainable for them to hold. There's no way, excuse me, this is this is any good for them. They're losing so much, they're bleeding money. It's it's uh, it must it must be pretty awful to be in their shoes right now, especially with the way the stock continues to run, as you can see right here, continues to run. Now, why am I so excited, right? Why do I think they haven't covered yet? Why, why wouldn't they have covered yet, right? Look at this price action. Okay, so look at this price action right here, right? As I mentioned, uh, Ortex is T plus two, so it's lagging by two days. So two days ago, we can see right here, this was this price action. It went all the way from, I don't know, we'll say, we'll call it 20, sure, all the way to uh, 27, we'll say, okay, obviously it had some highs, and, and it, it, but from about right here, or where, where would it have been? Sure, right, right around here, we'll call it 20, sure, just to be safe, all the way to 27. Some serious price action, great price action. Now, even with that happening, we can see the Ortex numbers right here. <laughs> the, the shares on loan stayed the same. It stayed the same. In fact, they borrowed more shares, okay? They borrowed more shares. These guys are continuing to borrow shares. Look at today's numbers. They returned this many shares, one point, you know, we'll call it 1 million, sure, 1.3 million. They borrowed 7 million shares today. They're still borrowing shares. They The change of 5.78 million. Okay, they're still borrowing shares. So when I double down, I I, I didn't 100% double down, but I almost completely double down because I saw this price action going up, and I I I firmly firmly believe, and the numbers are proving this right, that this is regular price action. The only difference I believe is people are FOMOing in right now, and I feel like they may have stopped shorting as much. I feel like they're not shorting as much because it's hard It's hard to borrow, right? The utilization is near 100%. And as we can see here, it, it, it's just getting hard to borrow the, the shares, hard to find the shares, hard to borrow them, uh, especially with, with what's going on. And for them to push it back down as far as it was, I don't think they'll be able to at this point. There's too much momentum going into it and continues to go into it and more people are hopping in more apes more apes this stock is going insane people are continuing to buy people are, are i mean it's it's ridiculous um and on that note if there are our new apes out there welcome you know welcome uh, to the to the movement uh and if you if you come across a new it please big please make sure that you're uh welcoming them you know educating them don't be like oh i've been here since the beginning like you know we want to be we're friendly to all the apes Ape, apes don't fight apes Okay, uh, and just be sure to to welcome them. 
them to the community, show them the DD, let them know what's going on, um, and make sure they're informed because those apes are going to be your your diamond handed apes that you know you want them to hold. And if you want them to hold, um, you need to make sure that they are aware of what's going on. The reason I doubled down is because this number kept going up. They're continuing to borrow shares, and I felt totally confident. I, I got in back in, or I doubled down around twenty five dollars, or technically a little higher, twenty seven dollars. I got, I doubled down. So if I doubled in down at twenty seven dollars, that tells you how convicted I am and how much I believe that this stock is continuing to move. I got in around two dollars in either late December, early January, whenever it was. I got in that early, and I still. I could have, I should have doubled down at five, 10, and I liquidated my other positions. I jumped in because these people haven't started covering yet. It's continuing to go. Now, we'll see what happens. Even if this goes down a little bit, let's say, and granted, you know, this is this is some pretty serious price action right here. This one is consolidation. I think we're down less than 2% on this day, continuing to run. And as long as they're not exiting their position and covering those shares. I believe the stock is going to continue to run. Um, they're going to try to short it, but we'll see if they're able to keep it down at all, keep it keep it sideways or what will happen. Um, and even if they did start covering and this went down to, let's say, uh, you know, 100 million, even then, the, I'm so bullish on the stock. I, I, if I had the funds, I would double down again. That's how bullish I am on the stock. So um, I, I just wanted to share that information. I, wa I want people to know this because it's super important to know the DD, super important to know what is going on, super important to know that this price action is not the squeeze yet, in my in my opinion. Uh, and, you know, Trey has the same opinion and all that. Uh, this is not the squeeze. This is regular price action and i think it's it's just like and that's why i said it, i don't think it's just getting started i don't think it's started yet this is regular price action the squeeze hasn't started all right uh and so that is what i have for you guys thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video if you did like the content please consider subscribing i'm doing my best to cover the the stock and uh talk about everything going on the dd all the good stuff all right um also we need people to know what is going on please be sure to either like the video share the video let people know what is going on so that the apes are informed and educated about everything okay it's, it's extremely important all right thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch the video hope you guys have a fantastic day peace